Hi everybody. This time I want to show you something which is uh, really cool and super easy to make. I want to show you how to receive uh, real photos from uh, weather satellites only using your computer, a television tuner and a handmade antenna. So we will try to pick the signal from a NOAA weather satellite which fly more than 800 kilometers above the earth and this is amazing when you think about it. Those satellites are making the pictures uh, in infrared of the Earth and then the pictures are sent to the Earth using uh, standard FM frequencies which you can pick by using a special antenna. In fact, you will uh, need not only an antenna but also SDR device, this is the software driven radio device Fortunately, it turns that the ordinary television tuner which you can buy for almost no money, it is a very good SDR device. So you will need uh, one of uh, these to receive the signal. Antenna, in fact, could be very simple. This is just two copper wires uh, connected in uh, 120 degrees and then connected to the typical television cable. As you can see, I'm making it with my uh, son and it is uh, very easy to make. We are using a very thin copper wire and uh, we are uh, using a plywood as the holder for the wires. The whole project of receiving the images from the satellite, it was idea of my son. I think that it was because of some cartoon he was watching. He One important thing considering an antenna, you have to put it somewhere where there are no electronic noises. I recommend the open field or something like this. Now the software. I recommend you to use WX2IMG. Uh, this is a program which allows you to track the weather satellites and to decode the messages from them. This program is available for all operating systems, so just go to their site and get this program. First thing you need to make in the satellite tracking software is to set your ground station on Earth. So I'm showing you how to do that. After you set your ground station, you have to update the Kepler's as I'm doing it now on the screen. And now we are ready to predict uh, what uh, satellite and when will be on your sky. As you can see there are not only information about the satellites but also about the frequencies which you had to listen to receive the images from them. You have to have uh, one more software which allows you to receive the signal and control your television tuner. And if you are using the Windows, I recommend you to download the SDR Sharp. But if you are using the Linux operating system or Mac OS, I recommend you to download a GQRX. In fact, it doesn't matter what you choose because those uh, softwares are working exactly in the same way. Now the short tutorial. First you have to set the frequency of the satellite, then you have to set the receiver parameters as I showed you on the screen and then you are able to see the signal uh, on the waterfall diagram. So the last thing you, you have to do is to just receive the signal and record it to the WAV file onto your system. I have to admit that receiving the signal was pretty exciting and not only just for my son but also for me. 
it is a really cool thing to receive the signal from the satellite which is so high above you and to receive the image of your area in the real time. Okay, after you receive the signal, you have to change it a little bit and uh, I'm using uh, Audacity software. You have to open the file, change its frequency and save it. And that's all. Now we are ready to decode the signal. Uh, to do that, open the WX2EMG software, open the audio file and voila! You have your uh, real-time images from the satellite. As I said, it was really simple. Now you can play a little, for example, you can change the type of the images uh, to see, for example, the temperatures on the Earth and you can correct the images, change its uh, contrast, etc. In the next few days we've got uh, several images from the satellite. Some of them are a bit, little bit noisy, but you have to be aware that we are not using any amplifier to boost the signal, so it's pretty okay. As I said at the beginning, this is the simplest configuration which allows you to receive the images from the satellites. But you have to be aware that uh, only with this you are able to do much more. For example, you can read the much better images from Meteor or satellites with better quality. You can also receive the messages from the International Space Station. And you can listen to the typical radio transmission, which was also uh, pretty cool for my son. And he spent uh, many, many hours sitting and searching the frequencies to receive some transmissions. And that's all. Uh, thanks for watching and if you enjoy it, you can uh, subscribe my channel. Bye. Najgorsze jak można powiedzieć, ja widziałam wiesz jakie? Jaki? Taki.